Hey guys, in the following minutes I will show you the quickest way I know to solve this problem. So, let's begin. As Wendy stood up from her chair, the room began to spin. Her vision became blurry and her ears were buzzing. At that moment, the world was moving in slow motion. Even as she fell, it was like lying down on the floor. Only when her head hit the tiles did she feel the impact. But then, it was too late. Wendy's 11-year-old grandson ran over and grabbed her shoulders. Are you okay? he asked with tears in his eyes. She didn't answer. We'll get back to Wendy in a second, but first I want to make a serious point. If you think your vertigo or occasional dizziness is just an inconvenience, you're dead wrong. Vertigo is the number one cause of broken bones and head injuries in people over 55. It often leads to deadly head fractures and loss of cognitive function due to internal bleeding and brain injuries. It's the most frequent complaint doctors receive. And worst of all, it's a clear indicator that you're at high risk of stroke. You could experience one any minute now. Doctors have no solution. They don't even know what causes it. How could they provide a reliable treatment? You've probably been told that your vertigo, dizziness, or other balance problems are caused by something like... Meniere's, vestibular neuritis, or labyrinthitis disease, low blood pressure, infection, medication side effects, migraine and headaches, or similar causes. But again, dead wrong. Yes, these things can lead or contribute to vertigo and dizziness. But if they really were the main causes, wouldn't there be a cure? You wouldn't have those vertigo and dizziness episodes, would you? If you dig deeper, you'll realize there is a solution for vertigo and dizziness. The solution is a set of simple head exercises. They're completely natural, require no medications or surgery. They're easy. Almost anyone can benefit from them, no matter what kind of shape you're in. They only take 3 to 15 minutes per day, and once you're satisfied with the results, you can stop doing them. They work fast. Many people experience immediate relief. Others need a few days or weeks at the most. And they work for almost everyone. No matter what your doctor says caused your vertigo and dizziness, these easy exercises will help. I'm about to explain these simple vertigo and dizziness exercises in detail. But first, I want to tell you, what does not cause vertigo and dizziness? There are many myths about vertigo and dizziness and other balance problems, and I need to tell you about the more serious ones. Myth number one. Vertigo and dizziness is just a normal part of aging. Absolutely not. You shouldn't accept vertigo just because you're getting older. It sets on people as they age because of an underlying factor that commonly affects older people. I'll tell you more about this in a second. However, if you tackle this underlying vertigo and dizziness factor, your vertigo will be gone in minutes, never to return, no matter what age group you belong to. Myth number two. Vertigo is a direct cause of another disease. Meniere's, vestibular neuritis, and labyrinthitis are commonly blamed. Yes, these diseases are associated with vertigo, but they aren't the real underlying cause. In fact, doctors have no idea what causes these diseases. They say Meniere's causes vertigo, and then state that vertigo is the main symptom of Meniere's. Like a dog chasing its tail, this just leaves you dizzier than ever and without a real solution. Myth number three, medications and surgery cure vertigo and dizziness. If they don't know what causes vertigo, how are they going to cure it? Now, I'll always encourage everyone to listen to their doctors and follow their advice. But if yours is not open to alternative methods, get a second opinion. And when you have a doctor who is truly educated and honest, he or she will tell you that very few people benefit from vertigo medications and surgery. In fact, the side effects are usually horrible. They'll make your problems worse in the long haul. Common side effects of vertigo and dizziness medications are dry mouth, drowsiness, nausea and vomiting, blurred vision, confusion, and most ironically, dizziness. These are all symptoms of vertigo. The exact problem the medications are supposed to heal. Ironic, right? It's crazy to take a drug for diseases and then have the side effects create the exact same symptoms. This is not made up. The above list is taken directly from WebMD. As much as the medical system would like to cash in on costly, cutting-edge surgeries, 
these operations are almost always useless. More importantly, it's scary to learn how often these surgeries lead to serious hearing loss, even total deafness, damage to the inner ear, infection, and other complications. Surgery should be an absolute last resort. Fortunately, after learning the exercises I'm about to share, you won't need this last resort. So, with the traditional medical system failing, what are your options? That's where Wendy comes in. She was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance after the fall. Fortunately, she only suffered a severe concussion and a mild skull fracture. There was no bleeding into her brain or other permanent damage, which too many people experience after vertigo falls. But Wendy knew she might not be so lucky next time. It wasn't her first fall. She began to experience mild vertigo in her early 40s. Little by little, the attacks became more frequent and severe. Sometimes they came with nausea, but not always. At first, she wrote them off as nothing serious. But as her functions became more limited, her worries grew. Driving was the first thing to go. After almost causing a multi-car high-speed accident, she didn't dare touch a vehicle again. She felt horrible, as this really limited her mobility. That's when her isolation began to develop. But she isolated rather out of shame than actual need. It was just too embarrassing to have people stare at her when she had to sit down on the floor and hold her head when the spinning, dizzy feeling came. Or when she became white as a ghost with a cold sweat running down her back, zigzagging like a drunk person. But she didn't drink. It was her balance system. Her friends kept asking if she was okay, but she just wanted to be left alone. Wendy received three different diagnoses. She's no quitter. When one doctor didn't work, she sought another, and another, and another. From three doctors she was diagnosed with, Meniere's disease, low blood pressure. Then the third doctor said her vertigo was caused by the medication she took for Meniere's disease and low blood pressure. Of course, these well-meaning professionals had no solutions, and the medication she was prescribed only made the problem worse. She was on the edge when the miracle happened. As fate would have it, Wendy's best friend knew me personally. And since I'm well known in the natural health field, she asked me to sit down with Wendy. I didn't have much knowledge of vertigo and dizziness at the time, so I didn't think anything would come from our meeting. It was a favor to a friend. But when I saw how much Wendy was suffering, I almost cried. Before we go further, I should introduce myself. My name is Christian Goodman. I've made it my life mission to help and educate people about alternative health solutions. I'm the author of several books and thousands of published research articles. I spend most of my time researching and writing. But most importantly, I work with hundreds of people all over the world to test out different solutions for their health issues. This led me to discover natural solutions for some of the most notorious diseases in the modern world. Up to this point, however, I hadn't paid much attention to vertigo so I was afraid I wouldn't be much help. But then something weird happened. Wendy was about to leave when she, by the way, mentioned that her husband often complained about her snoring. Thrilled to be able to provide some help, I gave her a copy of my extremely effective Stop Snoring Exercises program. It includes simple exercises that loosen up and strengthen the muscles around the breathing passages, including the jaws, tongue, ears, and eyes. I didn't even think about it. But these are, of course, the same exact muscles that connect to the balance system in the ears and eyes. For the next couple of weeks, I researched vertigo and dizziness heavily. Unfortunately, there was no reliable solution available. Then came the letter. I guess Wendy felt it was more formal to write a snail mail thank you note than sending an email. And she was not just thanking me for curing her snoring, as I expected. Surprisingly, her vertigo and dizziness spells were also almost gone. Now, when I get obsessed about something, I don't sleep, eat, or do much of anything other than research. And you can bet that was the case for weeks after receiving Wendy's letter. Imagine if we could beat the number one complaint doctors receive. If we could prevent millions of injuries, falls, and broken bones. We're talking about helping billions of people. So, within a few days, I had 20 vertigo patients signed up to work with me. Unfortunately, 
I quickly found that the snoring exercises needed quite a bit of tweaking before they would help most people's vertigo. However, the first question I needed to answer was, how in the world could snoring exercises treat vertigo? It is actually quite simple. You see, traditionally, vertigo is caused by three major factors. One, pressure on the inner ear, water buildup in the case of Meniere's disease, and infection with vestibular neuritis. Two, lack of blood flow to the brain. Low blood pressure is often blamed for this. But bad blood circulation is a more common cause. This is what often leads to stroke. Three, miscommunication between the balance system in the ears and the eyes. The ears tell you to move in a certain way and the eyes in another way. That's why people sometimes fall down when they close their eyes. The snoring exercises loosen up and strengthen the muscles around the head. This does three things. One, it increases blood flow to the head. Most people think the heart is the only source of blood circulation, but all muscles act as mini pumps that help the heart. The muscles in the neck are especially important to get blood flowing up to the brain. Two, it triggers the lymph system to remove toxins and extra fluids from the head area. It also fights infection in this area. Almost everyone, for example, has stiff jaws. When you begin to loosen up your jaw, it triggers the lymph system around the inner ear, very connected. This is the only reliable way to remove fluid and fight inflammation in the inner ear. Three, these exercises position your head in the right way. If you look in the mirror, I guarantee your head doesn't sit completely straight on the neck. I never met a person suffering vertigo or dizziness that had his or her head positioned 100% correct. Your neck joints are like a cabinet door with wrongly adjusted hinges. They either bang into the other doors or won't close properly. This blocks blood flow. But more importantly, it skews the balance between your eyes and ears. Your ears feel like your body is positioned in one way, while your eyes perceive your position in a different way. When you work on the muscles around your balance system, your head will be rightly positioned. Your ears and eyes will agree. And when that happens, you won't experience the vertigo and dizziness symptoms anymore. This was easier to implement in theory than practice. My initial idea that the snoring exercises alone would be enough was quickly busted. It took me over a year of obsessive, around-the-clock work to test out a set of exercises that helped all 20 volunteers. But once we had a working program, things moved fast. I recruited 137 more volunteers to test the final version. Within a week, almost everyone reported positive results. Most said the healing was immediate. A month later, only eight still had vertigo. When I pressed them all, all eight admitted they simply stopped doing the exercises. Finally, there was a solid solution for vertigo and dizziness. Like I said, this was a long, exhausting, and expensive battle. I personally paid over half a million dollars to finance the research. At the end, our savings account was empty and the house was fully mortgaged. Again, when I get obsessed about something, there is nothing stopping me. But it was worth it because the stakes were just too high. Stakes like the pain and suffering vertigo and dizziness causes good people like you. The lost quality of life in the years you're supposed to enjoy. Retirement is when you have the time and resources to reap the rewards of your work. You're missing out on that. But most importantly, the risk of broken bones and brain damage after falling down and hitting your head. I couldn't bear to let it go when I knew there was something I could do about it. So I hope you won't be offended if I ask you to chip in a little bit. Just a little. But only, and I mean only, chip in if the exercises completely treat your vertigo and dizziness. But that's a side issue. The main thing is that now you have a solid program to treat your vertigo and dizziness using the simple exercises we developed. Introducing the Vertigo and Dizziness Program. In the Power Pack pages of the program, I'll lead you through simple vertigo and dizziness exercises anyone can do. Our first version was over 200 pages, but after lots of feedback, I cut out all the fat. It is now lean and super focused. We cut out any exercises that weren't super effective. We left only the four most powerful groups of vertigo and dizziness exercises that help everyone. You don't even have to do them all. You can focus on just the ones that help you the most. That means you can begin working the exercises today 
and be completely vertigo-free in the next 15 minutes. What I'm saying is, you can be 100% vertigo and dizziness-free 15 minutes from now. Within minutes, you can walk around without losing balance or feeling dizzy. You can drive without worrying about harming yourself and others. Take your grandchildren out for a ride. But most importantly, you can be around people without acting oddly, without becoming pale and distant as you go into a dizzy spell. You can play with your grandchildren and spend quality time with your spouse and family. And they won't have to constantly worry about you. Nobody wants to be a burden. That is one of the biggest complaints vertigo sufferers share with me. So that brings us to the issue of chipping in. What do you think is a fair price for a solution like this? And remember, I'm only asking if, and only if, it works for you. Remember, I invested over $500,000 developing this program. That does not include endless hours of work and hundreds of volunteers that exhausted themselves to test out different exercises. And despite that fact, what do other treatment options for vertigo cost? Medications, which don't even work in most cases, range from $500 to $2,000 per year. I don't think I need to discuss the issue of side effects any further. A surgery could easily rack up $10,000, and again, these are typically useless. Even a set of walking canes, walkers, and other support devices will cost hundreds of dollars. Even if your health insurance pays for all this, it won't cover costly taxi fares when you can't drive yourself and other hidden costs of vertigo. More importantly, no insurance will cover your pain, suffering, and lost quality of life. No money in the world makes up for that, right? I didn't think so. It costs a lot to run a website like this. Manage a diligent support team ready to answer your questions and get the word out about this solution. That's why I've been advised to ask each successful participant to chip in $500. In fact, my accountant told me just to break even, I couldn't give this vertigo and dizziness program away for less than $300. Anything less than that is a loss. But I'm willing to take the loss again. I believe once enough people succeed with this program, I won't need to promote it anymore. That's why today, I'm not asking for $500, $300, or even $100. No. No, if you click the order button below, you'll chip in the absolute minimum for this solid treatment for your vertigo and dizziness. And please, do it right now. Because I can't realistically keep the price so low much longer. I'm only asking for the price of one taxi fare, one bottle of medication, or one cheap dinner. Is that too much? Not at all. But only chip in if it works for you. The program helped everyone who gave it a good try. Only those who gave up too early failed to treat their vertigo and dizziness. So I'm convinced it will work for you too. But if it doesn't, or if for whatever reasons you don't like the program, I see no reason why you should pay for it. So that's why I ask you to hit the order button below. Complete the order. Check out the program. And if for any reason you aren't 100% happy, just shoot us an email. We'll refund you on the spot. You'll find a link to our contact information at the bottom of this and every other page on our website. We'll also send you an email after you order that you can simply reply to for support or a refund. The only thing I ask is that you contact us within 60 days of ordering. That is the maximum time our credit card processor gives us to refund. Remember, you don't have to give us any reason. In fact, it will never come to this. Why? Because after you try out one or two of the exercises in the program, you're going to be thrilled. You'll probably walk straight and confident like you did 20 years ago. Just imagine running after your grandchildren in the park and picking them up, spinning in circles while they laugh their hearts out. To be independent, to go places and do things you always wanted to do. To spend quality time with your partner, friends, and family. Not having to excuse yourself all the time or disappear in a corner. These are years you should enjoy more than any others. Do not waste them feeling sick and miserable. Even more importantly, imagine getting rid of the fear of falling down without a warning. Imagine not dreading going to the hospital today with broken bones. Vertigo usually doesn't kill people, but thousands do die every year from head injuries after falling. Thousands more lose cognitive function due to internal bleeding. I put a lot of effort into making this program. 
I did this because I know how vertigo and dizziness can take the joy out of life and how happy you'll be once you've overcome it. So please, don't put it off. Click the Order button below and begin the program. Most people order the program only after something serious happens, often after permanent damage is done. Don't make that mistake. You'll never know which fall will be the serious one, the one that leaves you permanently disabled. Click the Order button below now. And remember, the risk is all mine. I changed my life completely by using the system. Please do yourself a favor and try it out. I know you'll be amazed.